Hey guys, my name is Overlord X, and welcome back to a brand new 2021 set image leak video here on the channel. Sorry that I'm already a little late to this. I decided to wait out on making this as yesterday loads of leaks just kept coming out one after the other. So today we'll be discussing all of what got leaked yesterday. Before we begin, as you guys probably already know by now, I cannot be showing any images of the sets in the video due to copyright reasons, but I'll have a few links in the description so you can see these for yourself. With that out of the way, let's begin. I'll first be starting off with the Season 14 sets, and the most interesting things to me personally. Starting us off, we have Lloyd's Jungle Bike. If I'm honest, this doesn't interest me at all really. It just looks like the usual bike set we get almost every wave. It does seem to have quite a large like flag sticking out the back of it, which is, which yeah, it does look pretty cool. Hopefully that's not just a sticker though. For the rest of it, well, there isn't that much to be said, honestly. It just looks quite similar to Cole's Season 11 bike, but in green with a few golden accents throughout. Again, nothing too special here, and I definitely will not be picking this one up when it does release. So next up, while we are on the topic of Lloyd and jungles, let's take a look at the jungle dragon. From this image alone, I immediately got some Ninjago movie Lloyd dragon vibes from it, which I loved. That was probably my favourite set to come out of the movie, so I'm all down for them to do a design similar to that actually for the TV show. The green colour it uses all throughout is really cool. No clue exactly what colour it is, but it's a really rich green colour, I guess you could say. The claws on it look awesome, but at the same time, they almost just look a bit too big. Another thing to point out, from this image alone, it doesn't really look like it'll have actual wings. Where the wings should be, instead, there's just a few of those long golden sword pieces. So maybe they will be used to represent the wings, I don't know. As we move further to the back, we can see it's going to have a very long tail too. Oh, and before we move on, in this image of it, we can get a brief glimpse at the villains. Both seem to be in that violet colour which we spoke about in a previous video. One seems to have one of those tiki masks on, while the other one seems to just have its face showing with a Nadakan ponytail piece. Getting some heavy months vibes from those guys, not gonna lie, but hopefully they end up looking even cooler. But at the moment, they just look okay. Okay, so moving swiftly along, we have the Catamaran Sea Battle. And first off, just what is going on with the price of this thing? Seriously, 70 for this? I'm really, really hoping something big is included here to make up for that kind of price, because the two catamarans are visible in this particular image are not worth that amount at all. I'd say they are worth about 40 at max, but even that is pushing it slightly. Anyway, as for the actual set, we have one for Kai and I think one for the villain of the season. Although I do have no idea and I've probably gotten that piece of information completely wrong. If I have, then I do apologise. But if I'm honest, either way, these things aren't exactly grabbing my attention. They do seem quite messy and they just don't sit right with me at all. It's like they almost feel a bit too clunky and all over the place. I am definitely glad they tried out something new and didn't give us another dual bike set. But at the same time... This just isn't doing it for me personally. On both, you can see some really cool sail pieces. Hopefully not stickers, but whatever the case, they look awesome. Kai's boat definitely reminds me of his Katana V11 set from Season 8 too. Maybe they are connected somehow, but they do look extremely similar. As for the one on the right, it looks quite a bit bigger, but I'm not sure I really prefer it. Both are mediocre, I'd say, and I won't be getting it, I don't really think. Let's now just hope something else is included to make up for that extremely stiff price point. Wow. Next we have the Keeper's Village. And that other preliminary image we received for it the other day just didn't do it justice at all. Here it looks extremely cool and is one I may actually have to end up buying because it just looks that great. This goes to show that the box art really can just change everything. Not going to go into too much detail as I've already done it in a previous video, but we can see a small tower build up to the top that seems to be leaning over. Underneath that we have a small cave element with some lava flowing throughout it, and over to the far right we have some vegetation and a beach kind of area with a few palm trees. 
Not 100% on the minifigures yet, but we are 100% getting Jay and Cole, and possibly the main villain. Not completely sure on that yet though. So that's everything we have for the season 14 side of things. Overall it's looking pretty good, I do have to say. But let's dive into what I'm most excited for, that being Legacy. So, let's begin with the one a lot of people are most hyped about, and that is the Tournament of Elements set. As we already expected, it's an a arena type build. Nothing too special, but you get the idea. Around the outside, we can see some vegetation and some other things, and all around it we can see a huge battle taking place. If you look closely towards the very back, you can see the stand for the Jade Blades, which is so awesome. Glad we are getting new versions of those. Moving along to the left side, there is a spinner there, all part of the fight I would presume. Of course though, the main purpose of this set isn't the build, but rather the minifigures included. Those new Elemental Mast minifigures are going to be fabulous to get, and I can already say that the whole community will be a fan. Next we have one I will 100% be getting, Cole's Boulder Blaster. I can already tell this is a huge upgrade from the original, and it's essentially the same thing but much more beefy looking. There really isn't much to say about this one if I'm honest, but it does just look really great and I can't wait to get this as soon as possible. For minifigures, I believe Golden Cole will be included, along with an all new variant of Eyesore, so I'm really hyped for that too. I believe this is the last full set we have for Legacy Image Leaks so far, and that is Kai's X1 Ninja Charger. It's really hard to judge it right now, as in all of the images we have of it, it doesn't have the stickers applied to the front, so it just looks really, really plain. But do just keep in mind when you look at the images of this set, you imagine it with the flame stickers all applied. But overall, not much has changed either. It's extremely similar to the Boulder Blaster, as in it's held true to the old version, but it's just been upgraded, looks bigger, and I'd imagine it has more functions. Again, not much to say here, it looks cool and is essential to pick up for any Kai fans out there. So lastly we have a few small things to cover, starting off with an epic battle set we have. This is Jay vs Serpentine, so as I expected it's just that, a very small battle set with a few side builds to actually have the battle with, but it's mainly going to be used as a small minifigure pack. I've also gotten word that the Serpentine minifigure will be a Hypnobri figure, so I'm very very hyped for that one. And of course Jay, not sure which version of Jay, but we will be getting him for sure. As for the other epic battle set, we have Kai vs Skulkin. Again, the same thing, a few small side builds, but this will be an easy way to get a Kai minifigure and a Skulkin minifigure if you ever needed one. Very lastly here, we have some golden minifigures to discuss, starting off with Cole. Right now we don't have the actual minifigure leaked, but instead the promotional image of it. And it is Cole's hero suit, and I couldn't be any happier. It's Cole's hero suit, but completely in gold. It also looks like the colours will be inverted here, so everything that used to be black is now gold, and everything that used to be gold is now black. So so cool, and I'm immediately getting this figure, no matter what. We have the same thing, but for Jay too. We have Jay in his digi suit, all gold, but the armour on the hood has been flipped and is now in that blue colour. So I believe what's going on with these golden figures is that the golden figure will be based off the ninja's main focus season. So Cole for season 13 and Jay for season 12. Still really annoying that Jay isn't in his season 6 suit, but it's okay, whatever. Either way, a golden digi suit does look fantastic. Whoa, so with that all being said, we have finally reached the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, please do drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications as a lot more videos will be dropping very very soon for you guys and you aren't going to miss out on any more news that drops. Don't forget to join my Discord server, subscribe to my second channel and I will see you all in my next one.